There is nothing there. How does that work? C cr crate? Like I've got a willy or something. Oh, hello everyone and a welcome back. Sorry, I'm just readjusting. I haven't sat at this spot in quite a while. So I'm just reorganizing myself, but hello and happy post Christmas. We are currently at that really peculiar time in between Christmas and New Year. We don't know what day it is, we don't know what week it is, we don't know what we're supposed to eat, to do, to sleep, to anything. So what is happening right now that we do know we can do? January slash Boxing Day sales. So the next few videos coming for you guys are going to be my highlights of the January slash Boxing Day sales. Today is going to be Topshop, whoop de do. I popped into Topshop this morning. I'm filming this on Boxing Day, so I literally popped in this morning. Um, it was very busy in town, I wasn't expecting it, but my Topshop is quite a good Topshop, so they had quite a good selection. And I'm really pleased with some of the pieces that I picked. I hope you guys are going to be too. And yeah, I know a lot of people aren't necessarily filming a lot over Christmas or they're taking the time to have a break. But for me, YouTube is what I love. It is my baby. And I can't think of like not uploading. And I know that you guys are maybe like off school or college or uni or work. And you know, you have a bit more free time. So why don't I irritate you in that free time with more videos? So yeah. If you did think, why ship loading all the time, I, I can't stop. It's just not me. It's not part of me. It's never going to be me. That's me through and through. That's enough of the, me saying the word me. Okay, top shop. Now, let's grab my receipt. I was just to be that person that would never accept them emailing me my receipt. And now I've just realised I lose every receipt. So, email me my receipt away. So, I spent a total of £196. And I got one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven items. So, average of twenty pounds an item, a little bit less than that. You guys can do the maths. What do we start with? I've got quite a dark colour palette. I feel like a lot of the stuff in the sales that I liked was quite dark. But don't worry, there are some pink items in here as well. So, what to start with? I think I'm actually going to start with this bad boy. And the reason I actually picked this up is not only because it is an adorable hat. You guys have heard me struggle about trying to find beanie hats that I really like. Because I only really like the double pom-pom beanie hats. When I like look at beanie hats, really. And I have a red one from Topshop, which is literally like two or three years old and i get so many questions every single time it's not in stock on the website i can't find it anywhere but they had the red one in top shop sales so i had to pick up the blue version and it was only five pounds reduced from probably like 12 pounds 14 pounds so that is a good bit of saving i would highly recommend getting your hands on one of these hats they are so so cute and they are faux hair and i find it really difficult to find a double pom-pom hat that doesn't have red animal fur and obviously that is not something that i want to wear or promote or anything like that so top shop beanies with double pom-poms all the way for five pounds whoopty do pardon did i what anya can you go to lidl i completely forgot anyway back to my items everyone else can wait we've got a sales haul to show now this item when i pulled it out my sister went Ugh, are you a Victorian? And this is where our styles are very different. Like, this current set that I'm wearing, you should have seen it, hopefully, in my What I Got For Christmas. If you haven't, I will link it down below. Um, well, this is from ASOS, but it's DKNY. I will link it because it is in the sale. And honestly, I hadn't tried it on yet, but my bum cheeks look incredible in this. Like, I'm not tooting my own horn, but this is so flattering. I love it. It's a jogger set. FYI. Um, so this, Anya wants. This is something that me and Anya wear that's very similar. Other pieces, you guys know I change up my style a lot. Like even within this haul, you can see there is a completely different spectrum of pieces. But I got this little dress. Now, it is very Victorian style, and it might look awful on me, but I think it's really, really cute. It is a little black and white sort of like dog tooth fabric, but it's so minuscule pattern you can't really see it. And then it's got this white stitching on top. Uh, it's got a cute little like kind of semi frayed edge then it goes down to this floral pattern on the chest 
and then it just has the little over the top collar i just think this is really really cute and pretty um this was reduced to 20 pounds from 49 pounds 99 but they also had a sale price of 30 pounds of 40 pounds but I got it for 20 um, So yeah, I just think these dresses are really, really cute. And if you were going to like a christening or something, I think it would be perfect okay so i've popped on this little dress now i know this will not be for everyone but i actually think this is adorable i think it is so cute it is kind of giving me emily bennett vibes tell, tell me if you know what i'm talking about let me know down below but this is what the details like this is where when people say like misha you have huge boobs now i'm like oh no but then when you see me like this you realize it's only in certain clothes like there is nothing there at all but no this is so cute i'm loving the details here i think i actually like i love the collar but that's quite common whereas this little detailing on the sleeve with the buttons is really unique um would i necessarily keep this and wear this a lot no this is one of those kind of dresses that personally for me i can only see myself wearing like once or twice to a certain occasion so for that reason i probably won't be keeping this um because i don't want to have something in my wardrobe that i'm only going to wear once um but i think if you're like wanting a dress for like a certain occasion it would be a really nice special dress so you're going to a christening or something like that um it really gives me those kind of vibes um the fit is great like i'm loving the fit the length is nice it's just above the knee did you get the mix i only got that ham mum said we didn't need anything else is that what else did you try to get i just got some cheese but it's like all she told you to get yeah so you only got the bread yeah it's because they run out of Marks and Spencers. But yeah, fit is lovely. It fits really great around my rib cage. I've got quite a sticky out rib cage. I got that from my dad. Um, so if something's like breathable, it's really great. And then of course, I don't have someone here to do up the back properly, but you guys can see what it's like. Really cute. I really like this. Not everyone's cup of tea, but something a little bit different really. Next up is the most expensive item I picked up. This was literally the last one left. Um, and I randomly stumbled across it on like, you know, at the edge of something where someone's obviously picked something up and then put it back down. But I'm so glad I did. This was originally £89 um, and it was reduced to £60. And it is the most gorgeous black blazer. So it seemed, oh, it's also a size petite, but it's a UK 8, so that'd be fine. I was trying to find a normal size that's not petite, but they literally had none this was the only one i could find in the entire shop so it's got these beautiful shoulder padded shoulders then it goes down to the lapel it goes down to the pocket and then the rim of the jacket now you might be able to spot that there is actually like a mini swarovski crystal down all the seams of the jacket and i just think this is the most beautiful touch i think this jacket is absolutely stunning it just has a single button i have realized that i like single breasted blazers rather than double breasted um and i just thought although it's a bit more an expensive item it is a classic piece that you could wear for years to come now we have the blazer now i'm totally obsessed with this i will say i kind of wish that i got it in the size down because although it does feel petite in like the length and like the the, the arms are quite short on me but like at the back I would love this blazer if it was tight fitting and then I could wear it as a top and have my boobs out but it's quite like it's got a lot of space um, which is probably the designed fit just personally I like to wear blazers done up um, and then because like I don't know I just don't think it's as I don't know I like I like ones like this smart one done up so yeah that's my own fault probably could have gone a size smaller but they actually didn't have it anywhere so no luck um i'm loving these little slits in the arms if you can see that detail it just means that your arms don't feel restricted um and then it's funny because the arms are quite like tight but then the bodice is really baggy the detail is absolutely stunning then sticking with that theme i did pick up this skirt i really don't know how it's going to look on but we all know i love me a midi skirt this was was this even in the sale 
I think it was in the sale for £24.50, but I don't know how much it was originally because the tag's all a bit screwed. Um, but I got this in a UK 6, and you probably, can you see, you kind of can see, it's like a ruffled, is it a midaxi, is it a midi, we'll find out when I try it on. Um, but it's in that sort of, like, crate. Hi, I think I meant crepe fabric. Sorry, I think all the chocolate had gone to my head at this point. Crate, that's it. Crate fabric, where like, it's falling. And it's kind of like three different skirts all attached. I might look vile and like a trifle, or it might look really sassy, I'm not sure. But I thought it could look quite cool with the blazer. And I just thought it was a different option. And a black skirt is always really useful. Okay, please excuse that my head is not going to be a majority of this footage. But I'm trying to show you the skirt, so let me off. But, okay, now that I've got the skirt on, this actually reiterates exactly what I meant in terms of the blazer fit. Because this skirt is actually really quite cute. It is a little bit trifly, um, and I would probably prefer if it came out more. Like, it's a little bit straight up and down. But I definitely think it's got potential. It is a midaxi length, like it kind of goes to just my, is it my calf? Just like below my calf. But, okay, I think this, looks granny -y, but then if this was tight fitted and this was all like this don't you think that then looks quite sexy with like the long skirt a classy heel i think that would look great i just i don't know it needs a bit of work then something a little bit more boring um per se is this bad boy now i definitely think i should have sized down but i just saw it picked up and didn't really think about checking the size so i have been looking for just a plain basic white tee really annoys me like i have loads of basic white tees which i like would love to wear but they all have like a slogan on them and then it's in the wrong color or i don't like the slogan with the outfit yada 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 so i just needed a plain basic white one um and that is exactly what this is it was a originally 10 pounds and it was reduced to five pounds so even the 10 pound price mark is really quite a good price um and it does have this like frayed kind of like cutted cutted cut edge on the neckline which i mean i would probably prefer if it wasn't there but it's just a really nice quality t-shirt um it is made of let's find out just because it feels really lovely it is where is it 100 percent cotton i did think it was like it was gonna be a cotton t-shirt whether i should go back and size down to an eight we will find out i did want an oversized fit but i think a 10 might just be a step too far we'll see here is just the plain white tee obviously it's nothing mind-boggling it's nothing world changing but i did manage not to ruin my bun because it's got quite a loose neck um but now i'm actually happy with the 10 maybe i would get an eight but then i also think how i style things is i'm more likely to wear it like that even with this skirt like i think this outfit looks quite cool if you chucked on a pair of like white trainers i think you look quite fashionable um but kind of like hot mum chic that is what outfits in midi skirts make me think of like when i'm like a mum and i'm going to pick up the kids from the school run oh i'm blurry this is the sort of outfit i would wear with like a puffer coat and trainers i know i'm planning a bit in advance i'm only 20 years old and i'm not having kids for like 10 years but better to be organized i know what you're gonna wear on the school run than not but no really nice it's not at all see-through i have not got a bra on or anything and you can't see anything but it's great, yeah, and it's uh, like a, it goes past my hips, which I think some people would like, because um, if you want to like cover a bit of your bum and everything like that, there is that option. Wait, then, okay, I did get another pair of bottoms. Now I'm hoping these look lovely. When I pulled them out and showed my mum and my sister, my mum was like, oh, they're a bit wide on the leg. They're these little leather shorts, well, pleather, like snakeskin pleather shorts. Um, these were originally 32 pounds and they were reduced to 20. And they were like, oh, they're very wide. But I personally think I'll really like that because we all know that my thighs aren't my most favorite part of my body. So I think if I have a wide leg, it's not like sticking to my thighs. It's not uncomfortable. That's personally just how I like to dress for my shape, um, which is obviously totally personal. It does have pockets and I just thought these were really nice. I was looking at some from Zara, but they're not this nice quality. And these were only 20 pounds 
which I think, although it sounds like £20 for shorts is a lot, I really don't think that is a an unreasonable price. I think that's a really good price. We just have to see how they fit. Well, I had so much faith in these shorts, and now I see why there were so many of them in the sale. Whoever at Topshop decided to make shorts in this fabric didn't think about it. This fabric is not like soft enough, it's really thick, it doesn't bend well, like it's giving me like all of this. This is all like extra sticky out fabric that's like basically giving me like a little baby. Even this belt, I can't even tie the belt, like it doesn't really like, can, can you hear that? Like, I can't even tie it, it's a bloody nightmare. Um, the actual like leg bits, like fanny down, I like them, it's just fanny up. Like this, deep, like, can you see? This is just not a vibe. It's really hard for you guys to tell because it's black, um, but I can promise you these are not what I hoped them to be and I literally look like I've got these little legs and then this big like overhang of I don't even know what. Um, that is what they look like on the back and actually the stitching on the inside is rubbing against my thighs and it's quite painful. Like it's not the, yeah, this is item is not a winner. I'm not a fan. And then I got a slightly more festive top. Um, I just thought this was really pretty so I had to pick it up. It's in like this nudie colour. The camera's making it look a lot more washed out than it is. I'm trying to that's probably more accurate it's even probably more nudie like it's it's got a definite peach undertone to it um and it's just this kind of blouse where it has that i did it in gcse i just can't remember what it is fabric and then it has the more light chiffony with the sleeves and the high neck and the little peplum we all know i love a peplum this does look quite sheer so oh no sorry They've lined the bit where your boobs go, which is great. I got this in a size six. It was in the sale section. Oh, pooper scooper. I'm an idiot, but it's very pretty. I'll show it to you guys anyway. And you know, maybe I'll still keep it even if it wasn't in the sale. Guys, I found the dark horse. Oh my God, this top is so pretty. Look at it. Oh my God, I love it. Why does it have to be the one item that isn't in sale? To be fair, 25 pounds isn't a bad price for this. But this is beautiful. This is, I'm obsessed with it. This is absolutely stunning. This is what the back looks like. I just need someone to do that little button up. But I love the shape of it. I love the sheer. I love then the disc bit. And then I love the frill out. Oh, I'm so obsessed with this. I think this is the cutest thing ever. Next, I picked up these, which are just a pair of pants. I have not owned any Topshop pants since I was probably about 13 when I used to wear like their boxer briefs, which I still own loads of, but for me, they're more like period pants. Sorry, TMI, but I'm currently stretching a pair of underwear in front of you, so it's not really. Um, but my preference of underwear shape is literally a thong like this. Um, these are in a medium because, no to anyone out there, don't buy underwear your size. Size up one and it's the comfiest thing on the planet. No one needs a really tight string digging into their parts they don't want to be dug into. So, yeah, and I've got a bit of a fat bum, so that helps. These were £3 and I have never tried these on, so I might, like, get my reaction to trying them on so we can see what I think. You know what I mean? Oh my god, I've got the new pants on and they are so comfy. I'm obsessed. Wow, oh my god, these are great. And they're really comfy up the bum, but I'm not going to show you that because that's a bit too far. But no, highly recommend. I like the little, like, nudie band as well. <gasps> these are great. I'd recommend. I'm going to go out and buy more of them. Woo, new pants. Okay, then something a little bit more casual and I'm kind of disappointed because I thought I might be able to get away with the size but I really don't think I'm going to um, are these wide leg grey trousers. Um, me and Mo have recently really got into like wide leg joggery trousers um, just for something a little bit different. Only problem is they only have them in a size large and I think in like the sales chaos I was like oh that'll be fine I'll be able to get away with it I can roll over the waistband. I don't think I'm going to be able to. They were £22 reduced to 15 so the sale wasn't actually that great. Um, but I will say, Topshop had a great selection of joggers. Um, I'm a bit of a joggers connoisseur, but sadly I didn't have any of them in my size. But I think when they do get them back in stock, I will be picking some up. 
and um, we will see what these look like i just think they look really comfy so yeah okay i've got the trousers on now they, they are the epitome of low waisted right now if i like fold them over though they kind of go a bit weird on the vajayjay or is that okay now, i will say they're very comfy i will also say if i accidentally like stood on the back of the trouser in my trainer it would come straight down but i do actually like them do they look ridiculous like with this really low crutch i think they're supposed to fit like that that is oh that's my boob that is what i'm guessing they're supposed to fit like i would prefer them low-waisted anyway but i don't know if this is just a little bit too much like Obviously, you'd wear a t-shirt over the top, but like, I don't know if it looks a bit like I've got a willy or something, because they're just very baggy. But the thought is there, and if they get them in a smaller size, I will be snapping them up for sure. And then just to show you the length we're working with, that is the idea. And then, probably the best till last, I spotted this dress, which if you are looking for anything for New Year's Eve, or like that kind of like festive party vibes even like a birthday outfit this would be great um this is a sparkly dress this was originally 55 pounds reduced to 20 and it is this shape that's really come back on trend um do you guys remember in one of my vlogs i was wearing a pink misguided dress and it was a similar shape to this one um and it's kind of got the balloon sleeves then it's got the wrap over detail which is kind of hard to show you guys um but also it's in sequins and it's ombre so it starts like a bluey color then it goes on to like a silvery dark gray and then it goes to a pinky purpley color i had to get pink in here somewhere um but no i thought this was just really beautiful and again this isn't a petite but i mean i'm like five five and a half five six so hopefully it won't be too short on me um but i just thought it'd be really really cute and i just had to pick up something sparkly didn't i okay i'm not gonna lie i have encountered some problems i've been stood here for about 10 minutes because there's two strings and i'm like how does that work but i'm pretty sure i found the hole change things up and i think that now looks great so yes it is a little bit difficult you are going to catch yourself during the night but once you had a drink i don't think you're going to realize that um and the neckline isn't like too low so like don't be worried you're going to splash a boob i think you could tie this in a million different ways I don't know if you're supposed to tie it there. I don't know if you're supposed to... I don't know. I could maybe see it needing like a belt or something. Um, but yeah, I'm probably just being an idiot and don't really know what I'm doing. But if I tie it like there, then it's a bit too big. And then it's got all this excess over here. But we get the idea. Um, someone out there, if they bought this, would probably either have a better idea of how to put it on than I would. But I would definitely recommend getting the leg out because I think it just looks a lot more. Like, it creates, like, an illusion shape, which is what we want. But the sparkle is stunning. I love the fabric. I just think all this, like, double layer of sequining isn't the most flattering. But it's kind of like take the rough with the smooth. If you want to sparkle, it's worth it because you're worth it. But, okay, that is absolutely everything that I picked up in my Topshop sales haul. Okay, guys, and to continue the season of giving, we have another giveaway prize. So, to enter the giveaway and win all of these insane goodies, including one of my favourite fake tans, my favourite makeup revolution products... Mark Hill goodies, lashes, face mask, a bit of everything. And then all you need to do is comment on this video with the red heart emoji. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Then go over to my Instagram, follow me, and comment with the red heart emoji on my latest Instagram photo. Good luck! I hope you guys are feeling inspired with lots of items. I know that the sales some of you are quite difficult to navigate because like thousands of items go into sale and then you don't want to be sat on the Topshop website literally going through every single piece. So I will link all these items down below if you don't want to check any of them out and then you know I kind of do the hard work for you per se but I'm going to love you guys and leave you. Again yes everything will be linked down below which is all great. Have a lovely rest of your day and I hope you are still enjoying your festive break and having a little bit too much to drink, having a little bit too much to eat, only drinking if you're over the age.
remember that and yeah doodle hip guys love you lots make sure to do a like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye guys mm -hmm. bye